Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Renault Laguna. Renault Laguna is strictly front wheel drive and therefore no special transmission difficulties are first seen. Is that the resource of the shoes covers could be higher, but the matter is not in the quality of the material but in the design. They are very openly located. Many gearboxes were mainly of the BVM5, BVA4 series and 6-speed BVM6, BVA5 were also installed on diesel engines and powerful gasoline engines. These old French series of MKPs, they were also installed on Peugeot and Citroëns, are quite reliable and do not have serious problems with the resource up to at least 200,000 mileage, except that oil leaks must be monitored carefully. In the case of a low-level or dirty oil, the bearings are the first to give up. They themselves are inexpensive, but the boxes require accuracy when working. Often, repeated repairs are associated precisely with unskilled intervention. On machines before restyling with the manual gearbox drive with traction, over time strong backlash appears in the gear selection mechanism. First of all, this is how the wear of lever backstage itself is manifested to a lesser extent the shifting mechanism itself. On diesel engines with 6 speed, there is a problem with the resource of the dual mass flywheel. Its design is as cheap as possible, often with runs over 150 solvent. It already has a very large backlash and it's difficult to repair. Many machine operations are required. The clutch is available in all versions with a hydraulic release, and it exists in several versions for a different travel of the clutch basket. Installing incompatible versions usually breaks an expensive node. The resource of the bearing itself is more than 200,000, but often the bearing is disassembled due to wear of the basket pedals and disc lining. The bulk of the automated Renault Laguna are cars with atmospheric engines 1.8 2.0 and the Yannis version of diesel 1.9. They relied on a 4-speed automatic transmission of the DPO series Aka AL4. This is not the best drivetrain. The main problem is the reliability and maintenance schedule and the high sensitivity of the valve body to high temperature and pollution. In addition, from a purely consumer point of view, the box doesn't work very well. Adaptive algorithm turned out to be not the most successful, the box greatly impairs the dynamics of cars, and fuel consumption with a 2-liter atmospheric engine can reach 20 liters in the city. Well, it's not very suitable for dynamic mode. Of the advantages of this automatic transmission, it can be noted that repairs are very inexpensive by the standards of hydromechanical automatic machines and the ability to increase reliability to acceptable using relatively simple means. A good radiator with a thermostat and an external automatic transmission filter, frequent oil changes at least once every 30,000 km, and its resource after the next repair will be very long, because mechanically it's arranged well. An automatic 5-speed automatic transmission on cars with 2.2 diesel engines and gasoline 3.0 and 2.0 turbo engines in the ISIN 5550 SN after 2003, it was replaced by an improved version 5551 SN. Cars with it are rare, but from the experience of Volvo, Saab and Opel cars, we can say that this box is quite reliable, especially the 5551 version, but the valve body wears out with dirty oil and is expensive to repair. The service schedule is again too long, but even with an oil change every 60,000, it usually passes its 200 plus thousand if the box is not overloaded. Unfortunately, most often the oil changes irregularly, the valve body is worn out and the resource of the blocking lining of the gas turbine engine is not monitored and at the same time they like to press the gas pedal to the floor. At the valve body, not only the solenoids wear out, but also the plate material itself, which requires very highly qualified work to restore Zonex repair kits. The run well body finishes off the mechanical part of the automatic transmission with the lack of pressure, slippage, wear of the bushings and the pump. If you bring the gas turbine engine linings to full wear and the glue layer gets into the oil, then the failure of the box follows almost immediately and with the most severe consequences. Of the purely resource problems weakly associated with the mode of operation and maintenance, we can note the wear of the rear cover caliper seals, the oil pump and the planetary gear axles of the rear planetary gear, but this damage manifests itself with runs over 200,000. The main problem with this automatic transmissions on the Lagoon is the rarity of used gearboxes, but the automatic transmission bulkhead is not particularly difficult, since the well body is compatible with Opel Saab version, although its body is different. The bulk of the engines on the Renault Laguna are naturally inspired gasoline engines of 1.8 and 2.0 liters of the F4P and F4R series. Less common are versions with 1.9 DCI diesel engines of the F9Q series and cars with the basic 1.6 K 
or M gasoline engine. Occasionally you come across versions 2.0 petrol engines with supercharging or direct injection. Everything else in our market is exotic, both diesel engines 2.2 and 2.0 and gasoline V6 3.0. The design of the cooling system clearly has a good margin of safety in terms of performance and pressure. The layout of the engine compartment is also quite convenient. All the main engine units are moved forward to facilitate maintenance. In extreme cases, convenient access from below is provided and the front panel is removable. The best way to drive the Laguna without any problem is to completely replace the entire motor side with a new one or reroute everything from a good master. Pay special attention to the wires on the engine itself, ground points, power wiring to the ambient temperature, sensor, radiator fans, ABS unit. If you do all this, it turns out that French cars are not so terrible. F-series engines 1.8 and 2.0 are considered quite reliable, but this reliability is of a very specific nature. It's difficult to kill them by stress or intensive use, this is undoubtedly. They do not break anything globally, they are simple in design and even quite economical. The owners of Duster and Captur have been convinced of this for a long time. A cast iron block, aluminum cylinder head, hydraulic lifters and a timing belt drive make it very unpretentious, requiring only routine maintenance for 200 plus thousand kilometers. But these motors deliver a lot of minor troubles with runs of more than 101 and a half thousand. The main complaint against them is oil leaks from old cracks and impossibility of high quality reconsolidation without overhaul, weak rubber elements, primarily all seals and gaskets. The hassle is added by wiring and control system malfunctions, a poor quality throttle assembly and cracked plastic intake manifold. And this motor doesn't lack detonation. After restyling its versions of the F4R713 received a new piston and slightly increased compression ratio, which is why they really do not like 90 second gasoline. Only detonation is very likely and often destroys the bridges between the rings, so do not be too lazy to look into the cylinder with an endoscope. If there are characteristic micro craters on the surface of the piston, then the motor was clearly operating on the 90 second and didn't pay attention to suspicious sounds. The use of rubber parts of better quality than the original and a successful mode of operation when the engine operates in high wing modes with low temperatures, constant use of the oil conditioner when all fans are running can reduce the severity of the problem, but on most cars engine oil will leak. The crankcase ventilation system is initially weak and over the years there are more crankcase gases, the system become clogged and to resume its performance, high quality restoration and cleaning as well as slight revision is needed. In practice few people do this before the oil consumption in liters per thousand kilometers appears. Malfunctions of the ignition system and unsuccessful phase regulator Air leaks through the throttle and intake manifold seals and dual motors with an unpleasant tendency to speed surges and vibrations. Problems usually appear at 150 plus mileage, but in case in the Laguna 2 this means on almost every car. Let's add to the list of problems the tendency to loss of oil pressure in the cylinder head due to leak through the phase regulator with 100 plus mileage and the use of oils with the viscosity of OW30 and 5W30 which causes the camshaft pads to bulb and the list of problems will be complete. At the same time, we note that yes, the piston group and the crankshaft practically do not suffer. The turbocharged version of the FRRT engine differs markedly from atmospheric. First of all, the absence of phase regulators, the absence of problems with the oil pressure in the cylinder head, a slightly lower temperature and more durable piston group, and the absence of detonation when the control system is working properly. It is a pity that the problems with wiring and leaks do not disappear anywhere. The used Mitsubishi TD-04 turbines are very reliable, providing a service life of 200 plus. But it is necessary to better monitor the condition of the timing belt, it is more loaded here and more often fails. The replacement schedule must be reduced from the standard 120,000, not to be standard 90, but to 60 or even 50,000 km. It's very easy to kill a motor due to sensor breakdowns or a loose injector connector, there are plenty of such examples. It requires careful maintenance and gentle, tidy hands of the owner with runs over hundreds of thousands. Although at first it definitely only pleased the owners with excellent dynamics and the margin of safety for forcing, after all 250-300 forces and more were removed from it without serious modifications. It's better not to take the 2.0 IDE engine of the F5R series with direct injection. The design turned out to be crude both in terms of mechanics and control system. Cracks in the cylinder head and failures of the fuel equipment forced the production of the engine to be curtailed less than three years after the announcement. 
The best option for a car with it is to convert it into a regular F4R since the cylinder block is the same. Diesel engines are mainly represented by the 1.9-liter F9Q engine in different versions with a capacity of 92 to 131 horsepower. All options are 8 well in a cast iron block, similar to block of F-series gasoline engines. The motors are quite reliable, they have good second-generation Bosch common rail fuel equipment and a good safety margin of the piston group. Of the obvious disadvantages is a very small resource of turbines. After hundreds of thousands, repairs are possible. Moreover, they are very heavily clogged with soot. 8 valve diesel engines do not have the best purge. Of the rare but critical problems, we can note the tendency to crank the crankshaft liners and the cracking of the timing chain on the crankshaft, which leads to damage to the cylinder head. A not very successful unit of the US Air wages and requires regular cleaning after the first 100,000 km. However, it's often simply jammed with us. And the choke system with the throttle valve sometimes doesn't allow the engine to develop full power, the throttle wedges due to carbon deposits or problems with the vacuum drive. Turbine and liner problems are associated both due to low oil pressure. The installation of an oil pressure gauge is highly recommended for these engines, with runs over 100,000 oil pressure control is very desirable. At the initial stage of pump and liner wear, you can get by with a more viscous oil, but the liners will still have to be changed in the end. If you neglect the filling of fresh oil, the most likely the oil pump will also need to be replaced. Otherwise, this is an excellent engine, there are copies with runs over 500,000 and an original piston with liners replaced a couple of times in time, sometimes with cylinder head repairs. It's highly discouraged to buy cars with 2.2 liter G90 series engine. This is another dubious experiment. Here too, as in the case of the F5R engine, the problem is primarily in the design of the cylinder head. It is prone to cracking. An unsuccessful timing belt with an unpredictable resource also delivers a lot of trouble. Many owners change it every 50,000 and still the belt breaks off. A high load on the liners increases the likelihood of cranking. This motor should not be loaded at less than 2000 revolution per minute with full torque after full warming up. Often to save fuel, owners constantly move at lower revolutions and are too lazy to switch down. As a result, the automatic transmission doesn't have this problem, but on the mechanics it manifests itself regularly. In addition, the nozzles on this series of motors turn out to be not very successful. The nozzles very often need to be replaced. Fortunately, as with any Bosch fuel equipment, repairs are expensive but possible. The engines of the 3.0 L7X series of joint development with PSA are reliable, but they inherited all the typical problems of the F4R inline force. There are oil leaks and problems with ignition. Everything is complicated by the dense layout, high load on the cooling system and the high cost of repairs, in particular replacing the timing belt. You should not be afraid of it, but it's not in vain that it is extremely rare, since it's excessively complicated for a car that has already become much cheaper, and its character is still not very compatible. True, the total resource is not bad, but the fuel consumption of 18-20 liters will easily scare off potential buyers. On this information, both the problems of Renault Laguna is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.